Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Beth. And today I'm going to be redoing a video I did quite a while ago. It was trying to determine whether Castle Art pencils were a layer or a blending pencil. So let's take a look here. I got my Castle Art. And I'm going to use uh, Bassford's World of Flowers. I've chosen this picture, but first, I want to show you something. Now, pencils, colored pencils, are on a spectrum. Anywhere from wax to oil. And they can be anywhere on that line. They will tell you if they are a wax pencil or an oil pencil, but what they don't tell you is how much. Because some have just a, a, a little bit of wax and a whole lot of oil, and some have, you know, the opposite. They have a lot of oil and only a little bit of wax. Some are kind of in between. Now, an example of a wax pencil would be crayons. 100% wax. I don't think there's any oil in those. And an example of a hard oil would be like polychromos. Now, I am not that familiar with oil pencils, so if anybody knows some kind of pencil that has more oil in it than a polychromo, let me know. So, where do our castle art sit on here? And how can we tell? Well, that's actually kind of easy. How much do they blend? How much do they smooge? And that's how you can figure out if it's a wax or an oil or how much. So, let's take a look. <clears throat> So we'll take a couple of colors here. Just basically at random, I just want to show you colors. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. Like a lot. There we go. All right, we can see these here. Now I have 048 and 113, all right? And we're going to color just a little bit. Now because I want a lot of color, a lot of pigment, because I want to move it, I want to smoosh it around, I'm going to give it a couple of layers. Now, I'm going to take my green, or my second color, and I'm not going to go too far away. I just want to see if they move, not how far they move at this point. And I'm going to give it a couple of good passes, get some layering pigment on there. And now I am going to take white and see if I can smoosh them together. So here's my white, one, um, 072. And we're just going to go up and down. Okay, let's go a little farther and see if we can get some of that pigment to move. It don't move. That puppy do not move. Okay, let's take a look at a different kind of pencil. If I can find room 
to move stuff. I'm gonna move my castle arts. <clears throat> All right, I got my Prisma colors here. Let's take a couple of these. Is that white or an off blue? Gray green light. Interesting color, but not what I wanted. There we go, white. All right, now I have PC1101, PC907, and PC938. These are Prismacolors. So let's see what they do. Which leaf? I guess, ooh, handshake, handshake. Let's do this one. And this one, again, I'm going to give it a little bit more layering than I would normally. Because I want to get a lot of pigment on there. Okay, now we'll do the green. And again, because I'm not trying to see how far they'll smooge, but if they smooge at all, I'm gonna put them pretty close. Now I take my white. And they smooge very well, which is why I like them. Okay, so as you can see, just from this alone, Castle Arts are not a wax pencil. They are an oil pencil. They lay, they do not blend. Whereas the Prismacolors are wax pencils, and they smooge good. All right. Now to show you, a little bit more. Here we have the Castle Arts again. And to get a layer, to get a, um, a blend of colors, you have to lay them. A lot of people like me were like a little confused on the Castle Arts because they just didn't blend. They weren't intended to. I'm going to go over a little bit because I want to see the pure green. Go over with another layer. And that's how you do it with the castle arts. I think one of the reasons I don't enjoy oil pencils as much as wax is because I do not have the patience to do this. I want that and I want it fast. So, yeah. Now you'll notice that some pencils advertise yourself as having a soft center with a hard shell, with a, a good point. And what they're saying is the center of their pencil is wax and it has a coating of oil so that you retain that sharp pencil uh, point, okay? So one way you can tell with your new pencils, what they actually are, as opposed to what you're being told they are. Are they a wax, or are they oil? 
or maybe something in between. So there you go, guys. I hope this helped you, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!